what are you going to do if we ran out of petroleum or the gas becomes $10 per gallon? Don't panic. I will bring good news today. I can feed your vehicle with fuels from natural resources such as trees, grass, and all the leftovers from forestry and agriculture. You know, nature produces 170 billion of tons of biomass of by photosynthesis, three quarters of which are carbohydrates. What are carbohydrates? Basically, basically it means the polymeric form of sugars, which also known as sugar chains. However, only three to four percent of carbohydrates are used by humans for foods or other purposes. The carbohydrate components in the tree act like bricks in the wall, and the non-carbohydrate components in the tree are like cement holding the, wall, the bricks together. All these components form a crystallized form of stiff and strong structure in the tree. How could we make fuels out of wood chips? First, we pre-treat the wood chips at high temperature with the, a chemical solvent, say diluted acid, to break down the crystallized structure. As a result, the wood chips become swollen and the non-carbohydrate components wash it out partially and the carbohydrate components, the fibers, extensively exposed. Then we will add an enzyme, which is a protein to cut the fibers into its individual in units, sugar. The process becomes simpler once we have converted the fibers into sugar. We can either ferment the sugars to fuels, say ethanol, 10% of which are in our gasoline, or turn it into valuable chemicals, say lactic acid. The most challenging part of the process is cutting the fibers into sugars while the non-carbohydrate components are present. As the non-carbohydrate components prevent the enzyme converting the sugar, the fibers into sugars. However, we still don't fully understand the interaction between the enzyme added and the non-carbohydrate components. My research objective is to study the interaction between them and improve the productivity. Additionally, I'm working on the conversion of carbohydrates into lactic acid, which is used for production of uh, biodegradable polymers. My research will help the well-being of our society by using renewable resources and by keeping our environment clean. Thank you.